Hey there guys, it's Metro, and today we return, and I just realized that uh, there are dungeons that drop patterns, and I need to find those and queue for those, because otherwise we're going to forget about that, so might as well do that today as well. There's a couple dungeons, um, pretty much every, it looks like pretty much every dungeon. Um, yeah, so definitely um, the hoods, it would be nice to get. Steam Vaults, Tier 1, Number 1. If I can get Steam Vaults, I'd be very happy. I think we see Shattered Halls 2. Let's do that one. Uh, Battle Cast Hood. That's the Steam Vault. White Man Hood is Botanica. So those three for sure. And then let's see. There's more. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to do that today. We're going to just grind and queue for dungeons, I guess. Uh, I don't know, man. Sorry, I keep waffling on this topic so much. But Mechanar has a pair of... Uh, Arcano, oh, that's interesting. That requires a lot of dust. Let's see. Aldor. Let's see these transmogs. You know, unfortunately, we're going to have to pick and choose our battles here because there's no way we're getting it all. I have not collected that appearance. Soul Cloth, that's from Karazam. Won't be able to get those. A lot of them are just from random, like, BOEs, basically. A lot of this stuff. Like this, apparently, there's chests around. Coil of Scar Chest. I don't... Let me, coil Scar. Let me look at that. Coil Scar Chest. Let's see. Because this is often misleading. Apparently it's above. Literally spent just almost an hour farming this chest. The keys are super simple to get as they drop off every Coil Scar you kill. And the chests themselves are all over the place. I came here in hopes of some engineering schematics as an in-game unlearned spells indicates the chest container. And after one hour of farming, I only found that the chest gave me gray and white trash items. Uh, absolutely zero plan schematics. Yeah, so th this is like a bug, I think. I don't I don't know how it's still bugged. When we were doing the blacksmithing one, it was the same way. It said that something came from like a, an absurd mob. Like never would it come from that. It was like from something in, in um, Westfall or something like that. Something retarded like that literally would never come from that. Uh, but then there are these BOEs that drop. Apparently they, they drop from the raid though, so... Okay, that looks like all the ones from dungeons. We got four. Rest are from raids. We'll probably never get those. Wait, what is this? Mathar Gahacher? Oh, that's soul cloth. It's a caro piece, isn't it? Oh, oh, that's yeah. Okay. Botanica. Okay, a couple different uh, couple different options in a couple different dungeons, I guess. So. Yeah, let's just queue up, see what happens. These four dungeons are... Wait. Yeah, the Mechanar. I think it was from Architraz, too. But, yeah, we'll probably just stick with that and grind fire for the foreseeable future. Um, I did send another water over for my Death Knight, but I don't have access to a mailbox currently, so we'll just keep going. Let's use another pot, and let's get to it. Do we have a pet out right now? Nope. I think we'll go back to the uh, other pet because right now he keeps dying a lot because he's standing in the fire. Uh, I'd rather we don't have to keep using soul shards on that. So let's do that for a bit. Okay, here we go. All right, so yeah, just grind fire. Unfortunately, I don't know. This place isn't excellent for fire because there's a lot of um, there's a lot of uh, other mobs. There's another place in. Um, we might try it. Maybe we should ride there. It's just a hell of a ride. If it doesn't work out, it's going to be unfortunate. The, apparently, the best place, besides the Elemental Plateau, which we won't be able to access. Well, we also can't access this place, too. But, um, yeah, there's a place in um, uh, the Kithrona Kill Jaden, apparently. It's where the, the world boss is, or whatever, the rare boss. I don't know what you call it. But, yeah, there's a, a lot of fire elementals there. And they have apparently like the highest drop chance. People are saying it's like 50% to, to, to drop modes of fire for whatever reason. Whereas the other mobs are about 25%. And then there's, you know, the 50% chance once they drop it that it can be two. So up there it's very valuable. But the difference was that the mobs had a lot more health. Like they were max level mobs compared to these mobs. So... I don't know, it's like a give and take. It's, is it worth it? I always felt like that water spot was ideal because those mobs were very, very easy to kill. And um, they were in very high volume and there was very little competition. Like, there was no other mobs there, you know? So I always felt like that was the place to kill those water mobs. But when you have um, 
max level mobs, it's like, well, is it going to be worth it? Like, you don't, you don't know what the drop rate is. Nobody knows what the drop rate is, right? Like, you could try to pretend like you know, but realistically, nobody knows what the drop rate is. So, to say like, oh, well, these mobs are 50% and these mobs are 25%. Is, is it even true? Who knows? Regardless, is it worth it? Like, even if it was 50% and it took you, you know, 50% longer to kill because you had to keep dropping, you know, eating and, and healing and stuff, like... Is that worth it in TBC? I don't know. The funny thing is I was looking at videos on different people's opinions on this. And there's like, I guess a lot of people who didn't play TBC or don't know a single thing about TBC who made videos on this. And I guess it's because um, Primal Fire was needed for enchants. So like gold people, like people who were like gold YouTubers were like telling people to go do this to get enchant materials or something like that. I don't it, 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 like the... Um, when they added those books or whatever that gave you enchants, it's like, what I'm trying to say is not <laughs> coming out very clearly. It must have been Legion. I don't know when they did it. But at some point, they added these books that would give you, like, all the Legion enchants or all the Cataclysm enchants or whatever. You know what I mean? And apparently, in order to make the TBC one, and th we're just talking about the cosmetics again. Sorry if this is confusing, but I think people know what I mean. Anyway, so they required Primal Fire and uh, maybe a lot of it. I don't know. Because these people were saying that you should go farm it and you can make a lot of money right now. But then I'm watching the video and <laughs> this guy is like, so. I mean, what the fuck? This is like the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen from somebody who's like supposed to be like a gold, like a, a respectable gold YouTuber. He's like, I heard there's a lot in Nagran, but I flew all over Nagran and couldn't find it. And he puts up footage of him flying around, like, here. It's like, are you joking? You don't you don't know where the, the elementals are in Nagran? Is that a joke? And I guess, like, you know, if you just never played TBC, you wouldn't know. So, I don't know. I mean, it, they are kind of in a weird spot, to be fair. But it's just like, come on, man. How embarrassing that is. He's like, I went there and couldn't find any fire elementals, so I don't think this is a good spot. It's like, wh what? How do you publish this? You know what I mean? Come on, dude. This is embarrassing. I feel bad for anybody. It, like, if TBC does eventually come out, this is the problem, right? When Classic came out, a bunch of, like, videos from, uh, you know, the progressing version of WoW kind of doubled up as videos for Classic version of WoW in ways. And that's the video that you don't want to double up. If TBC does ever happen, you really don't want that dude's videos getting views from people looking to farm Primal Fires in TBC, right? <laughs> Because, one, the guy doesn't even know where the fucking spots are. Like, literally, does can't even go to fuck... Like, you know what I mean? The dude can't even be bothered to go to Wowhead to look at all the different mobs that drop it and find the different spots, right? I mean, that's ridiculous in its own way, right? How does that even, how does that even happen? Uh, but, can't be bothered to do that. And second of all, he's talking about, like, extremely low... Like, the spot that he recommends, the Throne of Kill Jaden, there's very few mobs there. There's only like nine mobs there total. So it's like a very non-renewable farm. And they're much higher level than like I, I'd imagine they're, this is like a 67 spot. I'd imagine those mobs are probably 71 or something like that. So yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I, I always think grinding easier is better than grinding uh, like higher efficacy. But obviously that changes when you get really geared. Like if you're like, a Sunwell Raider, like you got gear from Sunwell, then obviously no mob in the world is going to slow you down, so you can go kill whatever you want, but some of these mobs are definitely uh, a little bit more, I mean, even right now I'm getting hit pretty hard by these things, so I don't know how that translates to where we're at in the game with the uh, scaling, though. Probably nowhere. We're back to having to heal a bunch, though, so... I don't know, it's, I think it's just, it's more fun than having the pet die constantly, frankly. I'd rather drain life than have the pet co die constantly. It's just annoying. Oh? Shadowlands developer update. Later this week, we will send out our first round of invitations to close alpha test for Shadowlands. First pass of invitations will go out to longtime WoW players with active accounts in good standing, that's me, as well as Blizzard friends and family, along with a limited number of content creators and journalists. The initial wave represents only a small fraction of the pool of testers that ultimately gain access. That's awesome. When the servers go live, we'll have full level-up experience in the zone of Bastion available, along with the company Dungeon the Necrotic Wake. 
Testers who are interested in checking out our revamped new player experience can play through the Alliance version of the Zone and tutorials. Oh, that's cool. We'll aim to roll out new content on a regular basis for the test cycle later, on, later in April. We hope to offer the Zone Re Revendreth. As we take a look at Torghast, Tower of the Dam, our Endless Dungeon experience, we'll continue to unlock content, don't blah blah blah. While content will be rolled out methodically over the course of uh, Alpha, many of our underlying system changes will be apparent from the moment players log on. Players of all 12 classes will immediately uh, see changes in their spellbook talents and other cases from their resources. We'll have a separate blog coming out in the coming days discussing how we apply class changes. Sweet, man. That's awesome. Not the time for it. I try to make these videos, like, not, like, you know, date agnostic because I never know when they're going to be published. But, um, yeah. Obviously, uh, couldn't not react to that news. It's funny. Oh, we've made marking... We've been marking improvements. We have been making marketing improvements. Wait, we have been making improvements to our quest interface with an eye towards better distinguishing major quests that are required to advance the narrative from optional side quests that tell localized stories. Uh, that's interesting. Some changes to PvP. Conquest is once again a spendable currency earned through Shadowlands rated PvP. Players will be able to use Conquest points to purchase specific items of their choice from a vendor in the capital city. Oh, wow, people are going to love that. Interesting. Damn, that's pretty cool, man. Fucking hype, though. How about it, finally? I mean, it's uh, a little late, right? But hey, whatever. It's better than... Uh, obviously, it's better late than never, as they say. That's cool. So hopefully I'll be in. I mean, if they uh, if those words are said out loud, then I think that, that counts for me. It's awesome, man. So hopefully that means that we can... Um, well, that what that does mean is we're cutting some streams out this week, unfortunately. If we get in, that is. <clears throat> and that came, like, while I was doing this, too. It kind of derails the, the whole thought process here. A lot of fire mobs here though, so we keep killing these, no problem. This one's gonna be a pain, we're gonna have to ride through the lava to get these. Yep. Take a lot of lava damage. This does a lot of damage, this lava. It does percentage of your health, so better be careful here. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, we gotta get this thing somewhere that's not gonna kill me. Here, let's go around. This will work fine. The pet died from standing in the lava, I guess. Unlock your pet. Okay, mode of fire. Very good. I really should have... Fuck, man. This came out at a bad time. I really should make a video on this, but uh, I'm already making a video. <laughs> How do you make a video when you're making a video? You can't, right? I don't think you can. I guess I could simultaneously record. It's funny. So it's possible. I'd hate to derail this, though. This series is already slow enough. I don't need to derail it. Uh, maybe I'll just end it early and make a video.
I mean, come on, the words long-time WoW players with active accounts and good standing. I can't, that can't describe me anymore, right? I don't, what, what more good standing can my account have? I don't know what that even means. That's interesting. So hopefully uh, we'll get to test this leveling suite, this macro et al, in um, some Shadowlands zones. See, if hopefully it works. Hopefully it works because it might not, honestly. But at worst, we can do like a bastardized version of it where we just use very little action bars, and I don't know what else we can do because we can't really turn off too many things without scripts. I'm pretty sure they'll work though. I don't. I don't really know why they wouldn't work. Like, this is not an add-on, right? This is an actual thing that the game allows you to do, but it's just not allowing you to do it easily. Like, I had to dig and find it just to be able to do it, so I don't know why, like, what would change there, but at worst, we can just use frame stack and find out new things that would change, right? Like, there's this mention here. I should read this at least. Oh, I don't have enough soul shards. Making improvements to our quest interface with an eye towards better distinguishing major quests. Our work in progress 3D indicator of track quest objective locations will be available to use, which aims to reduce the need to bring up the map when navigating the world. That's weird. That That's something that I worry about for this, because I wonder if it's going to block. Like, probably one of the things I'm hiding is not going to work now because of that. So, we'll see. Oh shit, what the fuck? Where'd this guy come from? Johnny Big Rocks over here. Oh, I'm gonna die still? Yeah, I don't have the taunt pet out anymore. I forgot about this. Okay, there we go. He's pulled threat. Well, he's dead too, so. Alright, we got five shards. Let's hit this fireman up. Some big damage. This thing's done. He's done now. Skid it up. Not quite. There we go. Alright, anyway. Rolling out a system that allows players to set a personal waypoint on the map as well as share that pin in chat channels so that you should no longer need an add on to convey exactly where Rust Feather just spawned. Holy shit. Wow, these are. Wow, that's a great, a great nod to why that system needs to be in place, though. That's really cool. Very cool. Oh, wait, I didn't even read the... Ian has a coast that's tweeted about it, and apparently it was supposed to be a video. Let's see. This was this is going to be an exciting week. This was originally planned to be a video and to come up just a bit sooner, but our literal homes, but from our literal homes to yours, the WoW team could be more excited to pull back the current on what we've been up to since BlizzCon. That's funny. The top, the first comment is, Hi, Asmin stream. That's funny. Okay, well, we got into a dungeon, at least, finally. And it's the one we wanted, too, which is awesome. I guess we'll pick up the dungeons, or the quests, I mean. Alright, so what do we have to do? We have to just kill the last boss, I think, right? That's how we get the pattern. What is this? Does this do something? I don't know. Doesn't look like it does. Alright, here we go. I'd fuck I gonna say, here we go again, struggling to do multi-target DPS. I should definitely put that on my bars though, huh? How does it work? It's just a CD. Yeah, it's not anything other than that. So as long as I have a, um, 
a target for Chaos Bolt, I should use it on the other target, right? Oh, maybe we'll get some waters too. Holy shit, this guy's pulling real big. No Chaos Bolt this time. Don't have CD up, unfortunately. Taking a lot of damage for, for whatever reason. Getting feared as well, moving the mob. Dude's getting feared out of my AOE. Guess we'll heal up since we're not getting any healing from the healer. Not sure where the damage is coming from. He doesn't appear to be doing any damage. Must be this debuff that he has on him. Maybe it's lashing back damage or something. Brain life, fine by me. Oh, mode of life, that's fine. This guy's gonna try to skip all this shit, what a surprise. Don't blame him, frankly, but. Would be nice to kill, kill things. This is one of my favorite dungeons, honestly, in like the whole game, I think. There's just something really nice about this dungeon. I really like the way it works out and the way it looks and the mobs that are in it. It's just really cool. Okay, we got CD here finally. Let's use it for this pack. Gotta do good damage. If I use the CD, I have to do good damage, no matter how bad my gear is, right? The CD is too strong. Just keeping the dot up on everything, I think, is the, is the play. Getting feared into more things, not the play. Good thing I'm arranged. Tough to see all the different targets. Okay, more mobs being pulled. Uh, yeah. Uh, what's gonna happen here? Let's see. Here we'll put it. Good thing for rock elemental. Should have saved my CD for this pack, huh? Jeez. An aggressive puller. Well, just a fool who doesn't know anything about the dungeon. Myself included would have been included in that. I don't. I don't think I would have known about the dungeon. Oh, we're about to ding as well. Looks like the pet died, so the bars showed up. Sixty-nine. Got some moda water too. That's nice. Not many, but a couple. Alright, this boss I remember being relatively difficult. Hydromancer Thespia. Just put the dots on everybody, I guess. Well, actually, the elementals have, like, no health. The will you. I don't know. Should I Chaos Bolt? Probably not that one, but... It's fine. That tornado thing is very dangerous. I should move. I think after this I'm going to have to uh, end and make a video real quick just because too many people are asking me about it already. <laughs> it's only been like uh, announced like for 10 minutes or something. So we'll come back after that. I just got to make a quick video.
Not worth it. By the time I get the cast off, mob's dead. Nice little, uh... Yeah, seems like he knows where he's going at least. Is this like... People get this dungeon by accident, or... Did... I, I feel like you used to not get into this dungeon. Like, in the old days, I felt like this was only max level. Like, you would do it if you queued at 70. But I guess now, yeah, I guess now that you can queue at 70 and higher, it's not like that anymore. I don't really know how it works, but I guess, yeah, these dungeons are back on the table for people. Because these guys are way higher than I am. 78, that guy's 78. One guy's 76, 79. So, yeah, I definitely think, uh... Looks like he's getting, he's getting stuff. Uh, Coil Fang armaments are grazed now. They're no longer a, no longer a thing, sadly. All right, big pack here. Let's throw CD out. Get dots and everything. Soon we'll put another rain of fire. I'd like to see my DPS on this pack because I can't imagine it's bad. When CDs are up, there's no way I do bad damage. That thing does so much freaking damage compared to my normal spells. Anyway, getting some greens as well. That's nice. A little bit finicky. Oh my god, freaking dead already. Wow. Jesus Christ, can't even get one chaos bolt. This is, yeah. These dungeons are way too easy, I guess, is the thing. The spec is just too slow for them, really. Oh yeah, these things run away when you kill the taskmasters. Unlucker. It's like that Havoc spell lasts so little time that I feel like if you don't put it up exactly when you want it to, you'll never get any value out of it. I don't know, this spell is, this spec is confusing as hell, honestly. It's so much less, uh, I don't know, I thought it would be a lot more obvious. This old like leper gnome thing. I still don't know why there's even a leper gnome here. Some of these, I don't know, man. These TBC dungeons, they just don't make any sense to me at all, honestly. Like not whatsoever. See the up. No. Touch this or something? Is that right? I guess not. So, what are the actual words on that when the alpha starts? Later this week, we'll send out our first round of invitations. Yeah, okay, later this week. So, probably Friday, really. Realistically, it's probably Friday. Maybe th Thursday used to be the day. I always used to think Thursday was the day that anything like this would happen on. But now with uh, everybody working from home and shit, I don't, I don't know how it works. But yeah, we'll see. Probably, I definitely Thursday or Friday, I'd imagine. God, it's hard to even target four targets in succession. Am 
like other than putting immolate up on four targets, I have absolutely no idea what to do on AoE. <laughs> like, if I can't, if I don't have enough shards to drop the spell, then what else am I supposed to do? Just single target, that's it. Havoc, I guess. Wait, I wonder if, fuck, maybe if I put Havoc on a target. It's just too complicated, man. Putting this spell on a target and then swapping targets, it's like a lot of work. I was wondering if I did that, would it like put up a uh, immolate on that target too? I don't really know how the spell works. Rain of Fire just looks so friggin' cool though, honestly. It's just amazing looking. Now, CD will be down by the time we start the boss here, but uh, I'll still have the soul shards from it, so that's all that counts, really. We get a Bloodlust too, which I feel like is huge for Destro. Get those faster Chaos Bolts off. Much better than like most, most classes, like they don't have a cast like this, you know what I mean? It's not like a spell that they have to worry about taking up like half their rotation worth of spells. You have to kill that thing, right? Eh, it looks like it's dead, so I'm not sure. Okay. Do we get the pattern? I don't know if it's rare. We did not get the pattern. So that's that, I guess. I don't I don't know if it's rare. Obviously the answer is yes. Okay. Uh, I don't actually know how we leave. We don't. <laughs> we can't leave. Um, yeah, but there's no actual way for me to leave given this current interface. That's a interesting problem. Is anything said? It won't show up because uh, it wasn't said when we were looking at it, I guess. Okay, anyway, um, I'm going to have to take a break here. Not necessarily because I want to, but because there's just no way I can't make a video on this now. So, um, I'm going to quickly disenchant some of this gear that I got. We'll go back to where we started. And we will return not too long from now. I don't, it's not going to take that long to make the video. Although it's going to take maybe long to upload it. I don't know, we'll see how long it takes. It'll take a while probably to upload, so it'll probably be like an hour from now or something. We'll return, have to cut this session today a little short, but that's, unfortunately, I worry that that... <laughs> I don't know, man. I hope I can finish this. I really do. Because obviously now if the alpha comes out, there's going to be a lot less time for this. And I knew that was going to happen. I expected it. But it still is unfortunate. What else? We got another BOE or something? I still got something from the first boss. And that's about it. We didn't get much motes. Okay, so anyway, yep, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.